Hey everybody, Chris Date here, back at it again with another awesome development video. In 2017, I released a video called Setting Up Python for Visual Studio Code, and there's been quite a few changes to that extension and that process, so I want to give you guys an update video here in 2019 to show you guys how that works and how we're going to set it up. So I'm going to go ahead and jump on my computer and let's follow along and watch how this goes. Now that we're on the desktop, I'm going to show you guys how this works. I'm going to assume that you guys already have Visual Studio Code installed and your favorite version of Python. For the instance of this tutorial, I'm gonna be using Python 3, but this will work for both Python 3 and Python 2. The first thing we wanna do is we want to actually install the Python extension in the Visual Studio environment. So on the left-hand side of this application, I'm gonna go ahead and click on the extensions tab. After that pops up, I'm able to search the store for extensions. So I'm gonna type in Python. And the one that pops up on the top, you can see that it has the most installs here. It has 12.5 million installations. I'm going to go ahead and click on that. Right here is an install button. Now, once this gets done installing, you actually don't need to restart Visual Studio Code. It, it, it's able to hot reload the entire application and not have to need or have a requirement to reload the application. And we're ready to move on to the next step. Before we change anything inside Visual Studio Code itself, though, I want to get the executable path for Python itself. So for Mac OS, I'm going to go ahead and open up Terminal. And once Terminal's open, I'm going to go in here and I'm going to type, I'm actually going to type in Python 3 because that's the version of Python that I want to run. And now that Python's running in the terminal, I'm going to go ahead and import the system module. This will allow us to print out the executable path by typing in print system and then executable. Once we've done that, you can see it actually printed out the path to that executable. And I'm going to highlight and I'm going to hit Command C for copying it because we're going to use this later. And I'm actually done with Terminal, so I'm going to minimize out of this. Now that we're back in Visual Studio Code, I'm going to I'm going to click on the window to make sure that it's actually activated, and I'm going to go up here to Code, and then Preferences, and then Settings. Now that I'm in here, this looks a little bit different than I've I've shown in previous tutorials. This is a much easier user interface for a lot of people to understand and to read. And I personally don't prefer this, and I like to do it the old-fashioned way. And so up here at the top, I'm going to click on this button right here, and it's going to open up the settings.json. And this allows me to actually explic explicitly tell exactly what I want to change and exactly what I want to set. So now that I have that, here at the bottom, it doesn't matter where, even if your thing is empty, you can just start. But anywhere I want, for me, it's at the bottom. I'm going to type in a comma and add a new category. For this, I'm going to type in python.python path. Python path. Down here at the bottom, I'm going to click enter. And you can see right here, I'm going to I'm going to be entering in the python path. So I'm going to take what is currently in here and I'm going to replace it with my current executable path. So that way it knows that when it goes to execute python, it's going to look inside this folder and run that version of python. Once I'm done, I'm going to go ahead and save this by hitting Command S, or I can go up here to File, Save. And I'm going to close out of this because I no longer need to edit the settings, and I no longer need to edit the GUI version of the settings. I'm going to go back to the file browser inside Visual Studio Code, and we're going to write a little bit of code just to make sure that this is working correctly. Up here at the top, I'm going to click on File, New File, and then inside here, I'm going to save this file and to my desktop is fine, and I'm just going to name this hello world.py. Now I, on my desktop, you can see that I have a file called hello world, and it's a Python file. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to type in print, and then in quotes, I'm going to type in hello world. I'm going to save that file by hitting command S, and then right here at the top, I'm going to click the play button. And you can see down here inside the terminal that we do have a hello world. Now, if I want to debug this, if I actually want to be able to stop the code and be able to use it as a debugger, I can add a breakpoint here. And then over here on the debugger tab, I can click there and I can click start debugging. Make sure I'm choosing my Python file. And you can see it actually broke the application here. It's actually just paused in memory. And you can see, I can see all the, all the variables within memory that Python loads up the first time it runs for any application. And you can see that this is the main script where the file location is located at. It doesn't have anything like headers or anything. But this is currently now working inside Visual Studio Code, and I'm linked to the version of Python that I want to be using. I hope that this helped you guys for updating my previous video. I don't want to do update videos for all of my content just because 
I kind of get stuck in a lossless cycle of just updating content constantly and never creating new content. But seeing that this was my first video on my channel and my first video coming back after a long hiatus, I wanted to do something really special and something dear. And also there was a couple of comments on my channel that had popped up over time. And I really wanted to answer those. And I believe on the last one I commented back, my next development video is going to be a redo of this current video, you know, the original Python and Visual Studio Code. So if you guys have any questions or comments, go ahead and link those in the comment box down below. Again, like usual, if you need to contact me directly, you can message me on my Instagram or Twitter. And don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell notification icon on, the, on this video and on my channel. So that way you'll get updates when I release new content. And I will see you guys on the next video. See ya.